What is of much greater concern to us uh, as a result of this conflict in terms of economic consequence for India is uh, what happens in terms of uh, the, the currencies in which we uh, transact business around the world. Uh, do we need to try and diversify? As you know that uh, we too have reserves of over 600 billion. I'm not suggesting that we are in any situation in which any country whose currency we hold, and obviously these are convertible currencies, the majority of it is in US dollars, denominated in US dollars. Uh, between China and Russia, they set up between the two central banks, it was something that the Chinese set up in 2015 uh, for bilateral settlement. And uh, you may know this already, the Russians hold about 170 billion of their foreign exchange reserves and Chinese renminbi uh, central government securities. So they have been trying to diversify. Now, what should India do in this uh, kind of a situation looking to 10 years from now, 20 years from now? So we should be thinking of acquiring equity in countries as which uh, can be would be relatively liquid because mm. you acquire equity in, 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 in mines and so on, those are not liquid. Uh, so what kind of equity within inverted commerce can you acquire which are relatively liquid and which would be uh, somewhat impervious to sanctions?